directionally challenged hiker here. We are at Granite Rapids. Today is Friday, November 5th. Um, we're heading kind of across Monument Creek and we're going to go upriver just a short ways um, and check out the, the camp that the rafters frequent. Um, we stayed we stayed downriver from the creek last night. So yeah, we're just gonna take a quick peek at the camp up this way. It's kind of cool. Went up there this morning. And then later on today, I will do a tour of the area by us and maybe some other things that we do. But anyway, yeah, we're just gonna go up creek here, try to find the best this way. But yeah, it's... Oh wow. Well. Sorry, I'm on the old bouldery section, or rocky section, and a little hard on tired legs so trying to pay attention to the train a little bit of a view here um, yeah we, we hiked down yesterday Came down the Hermit, crossed the Tonto, just a short ways, about two miles, and then hiked down to Granite Rapids yesterday. I think we made camp about 4.30 in the afternoon. Um, it was a long day. We left at about 8.15 in the morning. But, yeah. Kicked our butts is an understatement. Um, so ten, it's 10.3 miles from Hermit Trailhead to Granite Rapids. Um, they give you a little bit of a warning on your itinerary with this one. You know, just like it's an aggressive day. I had done um, Hermit to Hermit Rapids in June, which is 9.7 miles. Um, so only a half mile shorter than this, or no, I had done, let's go back on that. I had done Hermit to Hermit Rapids in August this year. Um, I've got some videos out on that one. So I didn't think much of this. This one just was doing me in yesterday. Um, again, I went into this hike. I'm having some lateral foot pain. So probably shouldn't have been hiking but I am um, not sure if I wasn't eating enough drinking enough I usually don't have issues but if you look I'm gonna do a little turn here there's little campsites you know a little like tucked off the trail here kind of more secluded not as open as where we're at but again this is like you know this is where the river trips would frequent so if you want your own space you kind of, you know, stay where we're staying. But yeah, little, you tuck back in here, be a cool little spot. I mean, I guess you could, depending on the time of year, come here. But yeah, but back to probably shouldn't be hiking. So I don't know. Several times on the trail yesterday, I was struggling with nausea and that is for me that is kind of weird it's not it's not something i normally struggle with when i hike um so i even had it laying when i went to bed last night sometime in the middle of the night i was actually struggling with it again but here we are to like the open area um you can see they are replanting some 
native vegetation, so there's cages around it in places. A little sign that's, you know, just kind of explaining some stuff. But this is, this is where the rafting trips would stay. Um, kind of cool. I mean, you know, this would have been, I don't know, I like, I like the layout of the camp, but I really like the rapid that we have by us. Um, I'll take you down here. I'm gonna go around back here for a second and then I'll show you there's some awesome reflection in the river this morning. Got some pictures of that earlier, but yeah, you can you just kind of go on these little paths and mazes and and yeah, I mean look at you could be up here, kind of secluded by yourself, not completely level, but you know, pretty cool. So yeah, I was struggling with some nausea even in the middle of the night last night. So I don't know what was up with that. So I don't know. Um, can pain make you feel a little sick? Maybe, I don't know. But I'm feeling better today. And today, this is, this is the extent of our trip today. We are just going to explore the area. You can see like a nice little open area here. I mean, these rafting trips, sometimes they're like 16 people. Um, you know, they'll have whole kitchen set up, you name it. But, yeah, just walking around up, you know, enjoying. Um, again, another little area, kind of tucked back. Um, this is up above Granite Rapid. And I guess they like this area because they can easily get their rafts secured and beached and then they can face the rapid in the morning so they don't have to face it at late in their day you can see here there's like a little area the water is really calm here but with calm you look at that it's also a lot muddier so it's it's really cool and we're gonna get that reflection as I just kind of show you the river and some of the view I'm gonna go around and then I can go up. But yeah, there's the reflection in the river and it's just, I mean, it's an awesome little area, but we have, you know, we should be pretty much by ourselves tonight. Um, we might have some people come down from Monument Camp today and enjoy the rapids. We did that last year in November. So after, you know, visiting the rapids, in the afternoon on our third day we decided that we really really needed to come down and camp at the rapids so we we busted tail yesterday so we could have two nights at the rapids i'm gonna go up and then i will catch some more of that awesome reflection for you because it's a little different view than we have at our camp the river i mean Pretty amazing the still water allows that where we're at it's it's moving too much and as you can see if you watched any of my August footage um, when I came down and explored the hermit area um, the river is running that that Colorado River green at this point yay much better for filtering because we are getting our water out of the Colorado River um, last night and today um, so yeah, it's always nice when the water isn't going to completely, completely trash your filter. But there's the view upriver, the reflection, the still water. I mean, it is just, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, so we have we have all day down here today. I'm going to do a little tour of the area where we're camped, where you know the the non it's recommended the non rafters stay where we're at, I guess, because then we're not going to get overwhelmed by the 
the river people. But yeah, this is... This is one little beach areas of Granite Rapids. So yeah, we are... And something just jumped there. I don't know if the camera caught that. There's fish, you can fish down here. I'm not into fish though. So, anyway, for now, directionally challenged hiker. Well, editing this video, I realized there were at least a couple things that I should clarify. Um, I mentioned fishing in the Colorado River at the bottom of the Grand Canyon. Yes, that is possible to do. It does require that you have the proper fishing license. And then I talk about being by ourselves alongside Granite Rapids. I was wrong there. They it looks like they can issue two permits for the area, and that would not include any river trips. But as I've shown in this video, the river trip camp is up above where um, your hikers would usually stay. So I think that about covers it. I did include just a short time lapse from my August hike showing just how muddy the Colorado River was. Um, that short clip was taken down just above Hermit Rapids when I stayed there. So hope you enjoy that. Um, that is about it for today. I will be working on the next couple videos in the next week or so. So enjoy. <laughs>